Hey, Alan. Nice to meet you, man. What's happening with you? CQ? What's up? What's up? What's going on with you, baby? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. You know, I, I got to say, I start off, um, you know, I've seen you in so much stuff lately from uh, uh, Blackish and the Wonder Years and Heels, man. You're, you're, you're doing your thing and, and we love it, man. I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. Uh, so hey, come I, on, Boricua. I, I, that's baby. right, Boricua. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the connection man. every time we yeah, see you. Yeah. Let's go, represent. Love, 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 love. <laughs> so uh, I watched American Carnage, man, and and this movie was this was wild. All right, this is uh, for those that don't know, it's like a twisted thriller comedy. Um, can you think of so for the people that are watching? Can you think of some a movie with a similar tone to this one to give them reference? <sighs> I mean, yeah, but I don't like. It's a. It's. It's listen. It, it's a. It's a man. It's a, it's. I, I the feel that I get is 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 get out. It gives me that that type of energy. And as far as where you think it's going and where it goes, yeah. um, the way it twists and shifts, the thriller suspense of it all. I think that's the best in the the most recent sort of film that is similar. Yeah, I did notice too at early part of the movie. Uh, in, in the, the the main characters uh, in his room, there's a poster for us, and I, yeah. I was like, "Oh man, that's a cool little little yep. subtle call out yeah. to, to yeah. the yeah. genre yeah. of it." Yeah. So very nice. Yeah. Um, and and you play Big Mac, which yeah. I mean, I have to say, not just because we're talking, like yeah. it, it had to have been the juiciest part of the movie. Okay, <laughs> it, it looked like you were having so much fun with that character. Yeah. I mean, he's funny. He's complex. He's you know the, the tough on the outside, a little soft on the inside. Uh, what what drew you to this to playing this character oh man big mac man you know he, he like mac and the big the big ladies so um it was just fun that that the the energy that this particular character has on screen and just in these wild moments in dark moments and he somehow finds a way to find humor in it all uh was inviting and just again we we had the opportunity to shoot this in Spain for three months, man. So that was the the best icing on the cake, uh, on top of uh, the messaging of the film and also just the fun uh, Big Matt had in the script. Um, I'm curious, you know, uh, compared to all the a lot a lot of the other characters you played, it's it's a it's a little bit different, right? His is mm -hmm. is the way he is and his character. Um, how do you approach? playing a character like this you know is, is there anywhere you drew inspiration from for her for his his quirks uh, well listen um like every character that i i play is like designed like it's like it's built from the ground up think of it like an iron man suit and i'm just in the inside you know driving the thing so with each character you know i wanted to build something different like he, his hair was at the braided at the top like every all of that is these are small nuances that um go into designing the character um so some stuff i pull from my own experience some stuff it's from others experience some stuff i have to our research um but you know I, I love i love finding real moments real situations and real like craziness to kind of witness and kind of embody or, or give those type of emotions to a character so that's always the fun part and me searching for emotions to color uh whatever character i'm building right on um there's a moment in this film you have a scene with and i, I really don't want to spoil anything because it's, it's, it's so good yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> mr phillips you have a moment with mr phillips uh, uh things go awry mm -hmm. and uh the acting in that was incredible. The, the <laughs> pure terror that you could see on your face and some of the stills is incredible. Was was that something, uh, was it done practically or or was there a lot of um, kind of CGI involved? Nah, that was, that dude was really doing that stuff, man. Like that was like, yo, like you know, you don't need really, you don't need much when you see a dude really fall off a of bed and then start crawling like a spider upside down in real life like the dude i can't remember his name right now i apologize for that um but he he is amazing 
So it wasn't really hard <laughs> responding, responding to the, the wildness of what I was witnessing while shooting it. So, um, and just the, the listen, the, the, the locations that we, we, we found were just spot on in regards to what we needed. And it just added to the, the real life uh, horror of what we were trying to execute on camera. Right on. Um, without spoiling any endings, yeah. the do you feel like this is a character, regardless of the outcome of the movie, mm. is this a character that you would like to see, like get, get another chance to return to him and maybe take him somewhere else or something different? Listen, man, Big Mac is 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 is, is ready for the world. You know, not just the big ladies. You want everybody. <laughs> But no, nah, it's it, yeah, definitely, man. It's 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 a fun space, a fun um kind of world. Uh it would be interesting to see where Big Mac goes, but yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't be mad at that. <laughs> right on. Well, um, I gotta ask you, man, because what is your secret, right? Because I, I looked into it. I mean, mm-hmm. besides having a hundred over a hundred credits to your name, you know, mm-hmm. multiple recurring appearances on a number of these awesome shows, you know, you're an actor, you're a writer, you're a director, you're also a successful entrepreneur, man, record company, production yeah. company, t-shirt line, founder yeah. of Demo Nerds, which is an organization that provides free acting classes and services for at-risk youth in the inner cities of Los Angeles. How do you have the time? What do you how do you do this? How? I need to know. I can't, how do you have the time? Listen, man, I'm I'm just obsessed. <laughs> like I'm saying, like I, this is like you, you say all those things, and I'm just like, it's just like breathing to me, man. I, I love to do the things that I love to do, and then when I when and then the thing about it is when I dedicate to it, I'm obsessed with it. Like <laughs> hey, you see all these paintings around me. I'm a I, I paint now, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm obsessed with that. Like, like I just, I, I love being able, I love love. So whenever I love anything, anything I want to do, I do it in abundance. So um, with all that being said, I've been incredibly blessed to have worked and been a part of such an amazing group of projects. And uh, I'm excited uh, for the future as I'm creating my own and, and just building an, an, an entirely a uh, new chapter of my legacy moving forward. So I'm I'm really excited for further conversations we have in the future about stuff. Absolutely. And I was, cause I was going to say, you know, now getting into the art stuff and doing that and being so, I mean, amazingly talented at it. Is there mm-hmm. anything you haven't done yet? Like what's, what's the next obstacle you're going to challenge the next thing you're going to take on? Maybe learn how to fly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a plane, right? I'm assuming. You know, no, 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 no plane, no plane, no plane, no plane. It, it's done, been done before. Why would, why would we, why would I need to do that? No, just yeah, I, I believe you can do anything. Seventeen steps and take off. Like that's, that's what I'm gonna figure out. But no, nah, man, I'm like, <laughs> but seriously, uh, I that's the exciting part. I'm excited to discover what that that other thing is. Um, uh, I have a, a long list of things that I love, love, love now that take a, a, most of my life <laughs> away. So um, uh, I'm eager to find uh, more things that I'll add to that. Right on. The last question I'll ask you is yeah. why should people go check out American Carnage when it releases July 15th in theaters and on demand. Listen, man, it's the weekend. You ain't got no job. Um, no. Um, <laughs> but listen, man, it's a fun movie. It's a fun, you got, you know, take your little boo thing, your side chick, whoever you want to take. Uh, some you can snuggle up to. She going to jump a little bit on you or, or him or her. Uh, and uh, you can have a good weekend watching a, a fun movie. It has a message as well. So um, it's a win-win. Outstanding. Hey, I really appreciate your time. We got to get you on the show sometime, man. I want to do a deep dive into your career. And okay. We can, we can go into it, man. We'd love to. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm down for that. I'm down for that. Most have. Awesome. Uh, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> hey, thank you. Continue success. Bro. Thank you, my dog. Hey, quiet. <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> All right. We'll be in touch, man. Thanks. So All much. right, brother.